Hi everyone, this is Nilson Lima, and today we are here to help a friend uh, at our forums and in the Unreal Engine. Uh, he's asking how to uh, set up buoyancy inside the Free Community Ocean project. And uh, for this, uh, let's start here uh, showing it is the component, it is this BP buoyant actor so all you have to do is drag it to your level and let's create here a shape uh, let's say a con and let's just make it smaller there you go a little bit smaller and transform it in a static mesh um, here it is just save here and we don't need it uh, in the level anymore you click in uh, the buoyancy actor we have just dragged here selected the shape we just created and set it so now uh, your blueprint will act as the static mesh. Um, for this to work every static mesh or actor have to uh, some things. One of them is collision. So let's create here um, a box collision, the simplest one. And you see now that you got simulate physics enabled. Without the collision this will not set and everything will not work. So make sure you have the collision set in your object. Okay? And if you see ticket group here is prephysics and collision presets have to be physics actor or again it will not work. Anything different will not work. Okay, you can try anything else. You not work. Uh, now, if we uh, uh, make sure you have current location set here, so you can just click play, and then you see that your mesh just dropped to the bottom. This is expected. Let's change here for simulation. So we don't have the palm. There you go. Bye bye mesh. So what is missing here? Uh, you have to set test points where we will check against the uh, ocean plane to see if the object is uh, above or under the water. It is under the water. We will apply force making it go in the up direction. So, um, this object uh, we have set a uh, box collision. So, basically you have a square. You can see this as uh, a sort of a square in this cone. It is very basic, it, a few faces, but it will work for our desire. You can put any test points uh, quantity uh, you think is good for your object and place them uh, uh, the way you want the points to work for a mesh like the uh, that big uh, boat uh, in the, uh, uh, ahead have completely different uh, settings you can see here um, uh, so all dependent and the shape of your object. Uh, so let's put here. Uh, you can go with one for this object. Let's do it with four. So uh, you have to. Uh, all your test points are just located in the same. In the same point in space. So remember, this is. Uh, game dev so you have like a 
Cartesian plane here. We're going through negatives and positives. So let's place 100. Test point move here. Let's place minus 100. Another one at another place. And now we want in the opposite directions. 100 minus 100. That's it. Uh, now uh, we have set our our uh, points, but they are look okay when uh, looking from the top in the orthogonal view. But then you see that in the z-axis they are all over the bottom. Uh, it will work with the default values, but see what happened. I don't think someone would like an object like this to have a buoyancy effect like this one. It looks like a natural. Okay, so uh, let's stop here and grab again. Um, let's try something like 50. So we move now something like at the middle. Let's play and see what happens. There you go. If you want a, uh, this object to be in a different position like this in the bottom, all you have to do is move the test point array uh, let's say 3 instead of 50 let's place in 100 let's see how it goes so now it seems that the mass distribution to the object is a little different so it's kind of nice. You can also uh, make even better picking the test point 2 and like leave it at 0. There you go, it flipped. <laughs> Hope you guys understood how this works and uh, this user also is telling that uh, it's not working properly uh, when hitting play. I see that um, I just hit play and everything is okay. Um, I'm playing with version 4, 19.2. Um, I'm not sure, but m I guess this is the version you have set in our GitHub. We are almost about to most. Uh, the current branch is 418. So. Uh, soon .cam will release the 419 uh, branch for everyone and hopefully the 420 soon um, uh, I'm almost sure it will work uh, without problems from 418 to 419 and if not please let me know by your farms or join us in our discord server you can see the Discord server uh, mentioned in the first post in the forum thread and I will put it in the video description as well. Uh, thank you guys for watching and please subscribe and comment on our project on the social media also. Uh, it's a free uh, community effort. We have currently more than 60 uh, community members uh, in the Discord server and probably a lot more users for this asset. 
so be our guest and and come join us thank you bye bye